If you are a WordPress user, you have probably looked into SEO plugins for your website and have seen a few options, Yoast being one of the most popular. I actually used Yoast for five or six years, but I recently switched and I want to talk about why. If you're new here, my name's Jess and I create videos for business owners like you to help you save time and look good online. And today I'm diving into why I switched from Yoast to Rank Math. Now, first, I want to clarify if you are new to the WordPress world or plugins or SEO or any of that, I just want to make something clear that a lot of people misunderstand. These plugins do not actually guarantee that you are going to show up in Google search. They really do help your chances, don't get me wrong, but a lot of people think, oh, I just install this plugin and I'm going to show up in Google. No, it's more like a checklist for your website, for your content. They help you optimize it, again, to increase your chances of showing up in Google. It's not just a magic pill that just <laughs> grants you access to showing up in Google. Now, like I said, I used Yoast SEO plugin for five or six years and recently switched to Rank Math. This video, one, is not sponsored by Rank Math, and two, is not to say that Yoast is awful, you should stop using it. I think it's still fine. I just found Rank Math to be a little bit better, and I wanted to share why. Right off the bat, which is gonna appeal to a lot of people, <laughs> Rank Math has more free features than Yoast SEO does. So you're getting more bang for your buck when you use Rank Math. And I actually used to even use the Yoast SEO Premium plugin, so, that shows you how much I even like Rank Math more than the Yoast Premium plugin. They both work very, very similarly. I mean, they pretty much do the same thing. There's a few differences. I will put some links down below to some articles that show all the comparisons. If I were to go through all of that right now, it would be a super long video, but they do a lot of the same things, but it's just that some of them are for free on Rank Math and some of them you have to pay for on Yoast. For example, one of those features is that Yoast SEO only really lets you analyze one keyword per post or page, whereas Rank Math lets you do several. Now, obviously this is a software review video, so everything I'm saying could change. <laughs> Keep that in mind if you're watching this several months or years later, that all of this could change how many keywords they let you analyze, the price, all that could change. And speaking of price, currently the price is cheaper to get Ring Math Premium versus Yoast Premium. It's not a huge difference in my opinion, but it is a little bit cheaper. So if that's something that you're concerned about and you want to get the premium version, you could save a little bit of money. Again, if you're new to this, Paying for premium does not <laughs> allow you to magically show up in Google even more just because you're paying for the premium version. It just gives you more features, helps you analyze your content more, et cetera. I will say one of the downsides that I have noticed in Rank Math but is not a big enough deterrent for me is with Yoast Premium, if I deleted a post or changed the URL, it would automatically create the redirect for me. In Rank Math, you have to do that manually. Do I do it often enough that it's a deterrent? No. Would it be nice if it was automatic? Yes. This is a very minor detail and probably something only I would care about because I'm a web designer, but I like the Rank Math interface and the look of the plugin itself better than Yoast. Does this affect anything? <laughs> Not necessarily, <laughs> but it's something that I notice. I like the interface better. It seems more modern. Lastly, and more importantly, one of the biggest reasons that I actually did switch from Yoast to Rank Math is because the size of the plugin and how much Yoast can slow down your website, which is super important, not only for SEO, but also just for user experience. Rank Math is a smaller plugin and has less lines of code, which has less impact on site speed. And that was a big reason that I decided to switch. Now, if you were like me and you're currently using Yoast and you've been thinking about switching, I do wanna let you know that you can migrate all of your SEO information from Yoast to Rank Math. So I have a couple hundred blog posts plus all my pages on my website and I was like, moving all of this feels a little daunting because I'd have to start over. And then I realized you can import 
the SEO information. So that's a game changer. So don't be afraid to migrate if you do want to switch plugins. So those are the few reasons that I ended up switching. Again, I know this isn't a comprehensive review of both plugins. I will link to some resources below if you're looking for that. If you have any questions about the migration process or my experience with Rank Math, let me know down in the comments below. If you like this video, be sure and give it a thumbs up and I will see y'all next time.